the unusual lunchtime occurrence. There was kind of a self-segregation. The gorillas would all eat at one table, the chimpanzees would eat at another, and uh, the orangutans would eat at another. I have no explanation for that whatsoever, but it was true. The uh, gorillas sort of hung together, and the chimps did, and I didn't really talk to Morris Evans very much. As a matter of fact, <laughs> we were on the set together. And I knew him fairly well, but uh, he was an orangutan, one of those others. The actors were never conscious of it. They just drifted to their companions, to, their, to the same groupings as, as in the film. Fascinating. Ironically, the issues of class separation and prejudice are one of the film's main themes. You promised to speak to Dr. Zayas about me. I did. You know how he looks down his nose at chimpanzees. The ape society is given a distinct class structure. The orangutans are the politicians. Learned judges, my case is simple. It is based on our first article of faith. The Almighty created the ape in his own image. The chimpanzees are the scientists and intellectuals. I discovered evidence of a simian culture that existed long before the sacred scrolls were written. The gorillas are the laborers and the military enforcers. It was an allegorical device used by the filmmakers to make some pointed observations about human society. Why are all apes created equal? Some apes, it seems, are more equal than others. Michael Wilson himself said that the key point about Planet of the Apes was that it was more about the human predicament than about apes. And when Wilson started writing,